Germany, you can catch up on that too. Hello, hello, I'm back. I thought I'd let you know a couple of things you should consider before moving to the US or traveling here. There are a couple things that probably will be obvious, but a few that are even still new to me sometimes or I just cannot get used to them. So let's get started. The most common thing is probably the imperial system and I still cannot get used to it. Switching from kilometers to miles, from gallons, no, from liter to gallons, and from kilos to pounds. And this is following you everywhere. Driving, for example, I don't know how fast 30 miles per hour are or how long 30 yards are. So honestly, I still have my GPS set to the metric system. Oops. <laughs> whatever helps. A really cool thing actually is the green arrow while driving. So when you're a right turning driver you always have the green arrow unless otherwise stated when there's another sign up or something. But once you yield and make sure you're not running into passing traffic you can go. And that is really great because usually there's not a big line of right turning drivers in cars so um, pretty good idea. Germany you can catch up on that too. One thing I'm still not used to is the way Americans write certain things like one, the use of a currency sign, the use of commas and periods within numbers, or even the way they use quotation marks. One thing that gets me every time is the sales tax, because whatever you see on the price tags is not your final amount. Onto that you'll add the sales tax which actually vary, varies from state to state and sometimes even from city to city. So while we have a general tax of 6% in Florida, correct me if I'm wrong but this is what I found online, in Alaska it can be as low as almost 2% whereas in states like Tennessee and I think it was Alabama um, it can be up to 10% that is going to be added onto your regular amount. First time it really got me was when I saved up a lot of money to buy myself a designer bag. When I was checking out, the cashier read out the whole price and I was shocked because I did not consider that sales tax would be applied to that price. Yeah. So while we're talking about money, Whenever you are out to eat or something like that, American wages are so low, make sure you tip your servant. The hourly rate as a servant can be as low as three to four dollars. Whenever you're leaving a tip, make sure it reflects your satisfaction. Usually when I am satisfied with the service though, I try to give 20 to 25% of the total amount of the purchase or the food order. Some restaurants even apply 18 to 20 percent already onto your bill if your party has more than a certain amount of people like 10 or 15 to make sure the servers are getting the tip they deserve. Another major thing are the serving size. Really? Mother, really? The serving sizes. <laughs> Don't be fooled when you cannot finish your plate. Nothing's wrong with you. Actually, there's one good thing about it. If you like leftovers, always ask for a to-go box because you can have it later or the next day. One thing I love in the summers but hate in the winters is how America is constantly blasting their ACs. It is so cold and I mean you are getting used to the temperature but if you're in a movie theater or something like that, not moving, you're getting so cold so quick so I just started bringing a sweater wherever I go. I mean weather in Florida is unpredictable anyways. I have a sweater in my car and sometimes I carry one with me just to make sure I have the opportunity to bundle up whenever I need it. There's a whole lot more that can be added to the list but I thought I'd keep it short and simple. I also will link a video somewhere here about pros and cons of living in the US. If you like the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you around next time.